morning surveillance video, and it's being seen for the first time. The Boston Marathon bombers are on the move and ready to ambush an unsuspecting MIT police officer. We also tonight hearing the frantic calls for help for that officer, Sean Collier, after he was shot. And as News Center 5's John Atwater reports, the accidental witness who says he looked right into Joe Harzanayev's eyes. <laughs> Those chilling words from the first officer on the scene who testified that there was blood everywhere, all over the car and Officer Sean Collier's body. Just minutes earlier, an MIT surveillance camera shows two people walking by the Koch Institute. They approach the 27 year old's car and then the gunshots that claim his life. A man confused by the commotion calls 911. We're hearing a lot of loud noises outside of our window. We don't. They don't sound exactly like gunshots, but they're sharp, quick noises. Just as this is all playing out, a grad student rides by on his bike. Today in court, he identified Johar Sernayev as the person he saw leaning into the cruiser. We also saw bits of the pressure cooker bomb that exploded outside the Forum restaurant, along with part of the backpack it was in and a fuse wire. Survivor Jessica Kensky's burned, tattered hoodie and tank top, a horrifying reminder of that bomb's painful and destructive power. The double amputee testified she was pushed to the ground by a bystander, frantically trying to extinguish the flames consuming her clothing. John also tells us tonight that that video you saw from MIT, which was very far away, did not show which Zarnayev brother actually pulled the 